Hey, it's Wabbit. Hope you're doing well. I got a question on one of my videos from The Great Panicker asking how to connect the key step to the drum brute. Let me address that. Then I'll go over the cabling setup, and then I'm going to get a little bit uh, off the beaten path here. I'm going to go down a bit of a uh, wabbit hole, so to speak. So real simple. Basically, it is the MIDI out. You just need a MIDI cable coming out into the drum brute impact. And then you need to be on channel 10 on your keyboard. Uh, in order to do that, you hit shift. And then you'll see this light up here. So I already have it selected. So uh, let's say yours was on one when you hit shift. Just hit the white key under 10. And now you are on MIDI channel 10. So when you press the key, the drum brute will uh, hear the note coming from or the signal coming from the key step. That's pretty simple and basic in terms of how to connect. And that was the question and I'm not really sure how much more in depth. Now, before I continue, first let me go over the connection. So the Arteria is being powered by USB power. Uh, the Arteria, or excuse me, the drum brew is being plugged into the wall, and then this cable here is going to the audio interface so that you can hear in this video. Now, from this point on, I am talking below, above, where you want to call it. I This is all above my pay grade. I haven't messed with a key step in a long time. I've been focusing on other things. You've probably seen some of the videos. I do know this has a sequencer option. I do know about some of the controls here, uh, the arpeggiator, but I haven't messed with it enough. And when the question was asked, I was wondering, hmm, can you do some of those things with it? I briefly looked at the manual. I've got to do a lot more research. So I just need to forewarn you. If you're familiar with all this stuff, I... I Again, I don't want to speak out of context. I'm going to try and keep things very high level. But I found out that you indeed can use the arpeggiator, but then kind of play around with a couple knobs. This is not going to sound pretty. It's not going to sound perfect. But again, I was just trying to, kind of messing around. So uh, also, by the way, if you want to, uh, when I hit play, it started the, the drum brute. Make sure that sync is turned to MIDI uh, in this particular case. Uh, the tempo obviously will be controlled. So when you change the tempo here, the drum brute. There's a little bit, a bit of a delay with it, but it does pick it up. Um, but the arpeggiator does work. And then notice as I turn the chord type, I just get some different sounds. If I turn the strum too far, it goes away. Again, I'm going to have to read up on this to kind of see how this really relates if there's even a, a use case uh, for doing this. Apparently, the question was asked, so people must use this as well. So that's the arpeggiator. The sequencer, um, and again, I know there's a sequencer. I just haven't used it enough. So I'm going to have to figure out what I can do with this. I'm just noticing as I'm pushing a couple different keys, I'm getting different patterns. I can change the division. Obviously change the rate. So clearly as I change this here. So this is supposed to be random. I'm not really sure that random yeah so I'm gonna have to play around with this to see what all I can can do with this so again those of you who are who know this like the back of your hand probably are thinking dude come on <laughs> you know you got to do some more learning and that's what I want to do but again I, I didn't know that this could be done so something for me to put on the to-do list to learn. So anyway, that's all I want to do. Keep this very simple. Uh, ask or address the initial question. That's It's pretty basic, a MIDI cable going into the drum brute, making sure you're on channel 10 on your MIDI keyboard so that you can use the keys to send a signal to your impact. So anyway, but thanks for the question. That opened up some things for me to learn. And um, yeah, so when I get some time, maybe I can 
figure something out and, and do something with this beyond that. So we're just using the impact by itself. Anyway, I hope this answers your question, The Great Panicker. I do appreciate you watching the video and asking. I can't answer every single question. I'm, I'm, I'll do the best I can. Uh, but this one, because I had the gear, I just felt that, hey, let's just plug it up and uh, try and help somebody out. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next video. Again, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and get out there and have as much maximum fun as possible. Take care.